Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. I have it in the Tone Light, and I'm taking that second color in there, that yellowish tone, and I'm just highlighting my face just underneath my eyes, down the bridge of the nose, across my forehead, by my chin, and around my nose, just where pretty much I have any red spots or any parts of my face that I just want to move forward. By the way, I'm obviously starting off with primer and foundation on. If you guys want to see an updated foundation routine, just comment that below and I will post one, although I will say it changes often. The next thing I'm doing is taking my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in the color Light Pale and I'm just buffing that all over my face with my uh, Kabuki brush from Makeup Me. I will post um, wherever I, where I got all of this makeup from in the description bar below. And obviously I hit pan a long time ago on this powder, but I'm just using the rest of whatever I have in here. So I'm just buffing that out in circular motions. Then I'm taking a powder brush and I'm taking my Too Faced bronzer in the color Chocolate, which you guys know I've been using this one for a while. And I'm not going to contour like too much. I'm just going to bronze up my face. So I'm just going to take it in the areas that you usually would take it and then I'm going to blend it out all over my face just to bronze up my face because I'm extremely pale. And I'm taking the same brush again and I'm taking my blush from Model Co Cosmetics in the color Peach Bellini and I love this color. Um, it's very vibrant so just watch how much you put on your face. And then I'm just going to be putting that all over the apples of my cheeks and I'm blending it out and then I'm going back in with my Kabuki brush and my powder to go over the blush just to blend it out even more and to make it look like it's a part of my face rather than I have a color sitting on it. The next thing I'm doing is taking my Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in the color Auburn and I'm just doing my eyebrows and the way that I do it is I do little strokes and then just to make it look like I have natural hairs that like more natural hairs that are there and then I go over the entire thing just to smooth everything out. And I find that that's what works best for me and I also like this um, brow mascara, I guess you would call it brow gel, because it does give you more of a natural look. So if you don't want to be over dramatic with your brows, you don't need to be. You can be, and because it is something that's buildable, but you don't need to do that. And obviously, that matches my hair a lot more than my blonde eyebrows do. Now the next thing I'm doing is taking my Revlon Color Stay Eyeshadow Palette with a flat, kind of firm, kind of loose brush. And this is the palette Addictive Intoxicant. I'm taking the first color up there that's just like a, it's almost like a normal powder, uh, just like a nude tone. And I'm just putting that all over my brow, oh, all, all over my eyebrows, yeah okay. I'm putting that all over my eyelids. Um, just to prevent any creasing and anything like that. I'm not trying to go too dramatic on my eyeshadow here, just trying to make it still look finished. And then I'm taking a little bit on a different brush, on something that's a little bit softer, and I'm taking that second color and just putting it on like the outer half. Um, I'm making sure to not go into the crease because I do want this to remain a little bit more natural and I'm not trying to do too much of a smoky look, but I am trying to add some dimension. Now what I like about this brush, um, this is from crownbrush.com, if you flip the brush over to the other side you actually get like a, um, a tighter end of a brush, so I'm taking that third color and I'm using that end and I'm just putting that in the corners just to add even more dimension. just so. 
it looks like my eyes are not completely flat, I guess you would say. I'm also taking that uh, darker taupe color and I'm putting it along, I don't want to say it's along the bottom lash line, but it's like below the bottom lash line. I Like I'm not putting it right at the lash line, I'm just sweeping it under and that's just going to open up my eyes a little bit more and not make them so close looking or so small looking. And I'm also going to take it on my upper lash line just to again add some dimension without adding too much color. And you'll see that it actually does look a little bit effective. Now I'm taking my All Main Mascara. This is the Intense Eye Color Volumizing Mascara in the color Mocha. If you guys have watched my other makeup tutorials, you know that I'm obsessed with this mascara. Um, it's very conditioning for your lashes. It doesn't dry my lashes out at all. And lately I've been really loving brown mascaras. I think that the black sometimes can look a little bit too overdone for me, especially um, for a daytime look. I'm just taking it along the upper lash line and then for the bottom part of my lashes I'm only doing the outer um, edge. Like I don't want to bring it in too much because then I'll look like a spider and I don't want to look like a spider today. And then I'm taking my Rimmel Lip Liner in the color Mauve Shimmer. And I'm just lining my lips the way that you would usually line your lips. If you go outside of your lip line, that's fine, doesn't really matter. Although this one seems to move around a little bit, so I probably wouldn't recommend going outside of your lip line with this lip liner just because um, it may move around and then make your lips not look as edgy. Um, I'm also filling my entire lip in with this because it just helps my lipstick stay all day. Then I'm taking my new favorite lip product ever, which is my Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Peony, and that's what I am using um, as a lipstick slash gloss slash whatever you want to call it. It's just like the best thing ever. If you have not tried it, you need to go and try it. Seriously, you're going to fall in love. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked this look. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. And if you guys haven't seen last week's video, click in the upper hand corner right now and you can go watch that there. And be sure to subscribe. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys liked this. It looks like I'm taking a nap, but I'm not. <laughs>